How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the Small Tribe series. Last time we had a crazy action-packed episode with boss fights, raid defense, and taming Rhydeo Nathas. And today we want to continue and get another boss fight done. If you guys are looking forward to it, please feel free to leave a like on the video because it would really help me out. And with that all said, let's take a frog into the water to tame a Megalodon so we can try and kill Basilosauruses to get some tributes we'd need for the dragon boss fight. 115 Megalodon? It might do actually for what I need it for. Mantas, for God's sake, I'm stuck! Megalodon is tame! Time to roam the water. Did the amount of fucking Megalodons that just aggro to you from fucking everywhere? Yeah, that's like the chief complaint about water right now. Does each basket give you two blubber? Yeah, something like that. Okay, well, I found three basses so far. Come on, Basilo, die, please. I think a good Rhino would be kind of sick for the water. This one, not so much. Two blubber. Well, it's not as the thing is, like, once I've killed one of the bassies, the mantas from that bassie have come over to join the other. Oh, true. So I've got like 30 of them on me. <laughs> Can these things skim on the top of the water? Probably. Seems very much like the stalker. It can. Oh my fucking god. Yes. Come on, Megalodon, you can make it. I believe in you. How many? How much bubble do you have? We have two already, right? Uh, we have two at base. I have two on me. I have four on me, so we need one more. So it had been like 15 minutes or so, and me and Caesar couldn't find the last bassie we needed. And so when we found one, we kind of went full deep on it. And uh, yeah, that may not have been the correct decision. The highest level Megalodon in this pack is 40. I think I should be fine. I'm taking a fair amount of damage, though. I'm trying to help, but this Megalodon's gonna die. Oh yeah, I'm so dead. Dude, don't risk it. Pack buff is insane. Oh, I, I actually might die here. Can you get out? Can I get away? Hop off and, hop off and whistle. No, I'm killing him, I'm killing him. You sure? Don't risk it, bro. It's a Rhino, I don't really... I'm trying to get out, but like, it's not working, so... Worst comes to worst, jump off and whistle. Jump off and whistle. I don't think it's gonna work like that. Oh, it did work, it did work, it did work. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. I couldn't move, man. I'm on. I'm trying to run. There you go. It's just... Hold, it's on 16 HP. I'm going to the shore, bro. Yeah, yeah, just get it, get it to shore, get it to shore. Brother in Christ. Not a moment too soon. Are you good on foot, yeah? That pack buff is no joke, man. I was, I was telling you about that, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that impactful. Like, the highest is level 40. I shouldn't be getting tuned up by that. Yeah, but that combined with mate boost. That's been force feeding this shit. It, look how bloody it still is. <laughs> Maybe I just comp it from the surface, you get on it. Comp it from the surface? Yeah, if I grapple to the Rhinia, maybe. You see the Basilo? I, I did. Wait, am I on your leg? <laughs> Kinda looks like it. And so after getting the last Bassy, we had everything we needed to summon the Beta Dragon boss fight, which would unlock the small and medium teleporter, and that was all we needed for right now. And we were going to use Stegos to do the boss fight, and I'd hatched two last episodes, and I just needed to level them up. So I had Caesar sit on them above the swamp cave, and I headed in with the Megatherium that we had raised in there to get loads of levels so we could level them up. But real quick, do you guys want to know how to get drop luck like this in Ark? Oh! Well, today I'll be revealing the secret, my big balls, which get trimmed regularly with Manscaped. And today, I'm here to talk to you about their latest grooming and hygiene bundle, the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, featuring the new Lawnmower 5.0 Electric Trimmer. The new 5.0 version is built upon the excellence of the old models, with dual skin-safe blade heads, featuring an upgraded trimmer blade with longer, wider, and rounded teeth, with the attachable foil blade that transcends the boundaries of your normal trim, leaving you with a sleek finish. It's super simple to use the dual blade system on the trimmer, simply start the session using the trimmer blade and easily pop it off and attach the foil blade to get down to the skin level. It's effectively like getting your hands on two trimmers for the price of one. The trimmer also features a bigger LED light and introduces the new dual temperature feature, engineered to embrace and flatter multiple skin tones. And to top it all off, it's also waterproof. But that's not all you get with the package. There's the sleek weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, the crop soother and the crop preserver ball deodorants, and last but not least, the two free gifts you'll get using code Zavi, the travel bag, and the Manscaped boxes. So go ahead and check out Manscaped using code Zavi for 20% off and free international shipping because your balls will definitely thank you. Alright, so we're at 38, 22 XP. Where's Megatherium? You're gonna have to whistle it again. Bro just spawned in, what the fuck? 
Yeah, it's, it's actually really convenient because if people run in there, if they somehow drop the turrets and shit, they're not going to see him, so they won't kill him. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. When I get down here, Yeah, I think I am getting shared XP right now. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. That's seven levels right there. Holy fuck. Fuck it. This Akatina's getting it. I'm, I'm over 100 meters out. That's the problem. There's no bugs in this room for some reason. Oh, I am. I'm still getting XP. Oh, they're all coming up the fucking walls and shit. There we go, there we go. Yes! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother, get ready! I got seven levels to begin with, and I've got another seven already, so it's 14 levels. Do you want to go get a different Stego, Caesar? Because there's still shit here. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Are you still getting XP? Uh, I do not believe I am anymore, no. Oh, fuck. You try and bring it back? I can try my best, yeah. I think I have to be within like 130 meters or something. Let me know what, what are you now? I've got so much. Oh my god. Yeah, right, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> Perfect. That, that 100%. Yeah, that 100%. Look at works. them. Did you get it? Yeah, that works. Yeah, oh, baby. <laughs> this one got 29 levels. 20. Oh, oh. Yeah, this thing's at almost 18k health now. Is that every single one? Uh, so no, it was only two, but only two needed like levels this bad. The other two are like 15k and 17k respectively, so. And with all the Stegos leveled and HP and the shotgun ammo made, we were pretty much ready to do the boss fight. Issue was, we only had two or three people on right now. And because this was Teleporter, we wanted everyone to get it, as everyone really needed the engram to use them. And because I was the only EU player in the tribe, yeah. I had to wake up at 5am. Which, for the record, I am never doing again because I felt like a zombie. But, despite being half asleep, I was determined to get this fight done. Let's go, Zami, let's go, let's go, okay. It's 5.30am, I hate everything, I hate everything. I'm gonna die, dude, fuck it. You on them arc hours now, boy. I want to myself. Are we at least going now? As soon as we get the drop, yeah. The drop? Yeah, we get a cycle drop so we get one to spawn right next to base. Okay. Where's shotgun ammo? Yeah, it's all out there. Um, There's none in the box. I'm crafting them, just take them as they craft. Okay. Where are the stegos at? I'm gonna get Zavi's theory. I've got it. I'm not gonna bring my imprinted one, I'm just gonna bring a normal one. It shouldn't matter. And so eventually we found the drop that was outside our base, and we put turrets down by the drop to make sure we didn't get counted. However, our issue was, we had one person on a Megaloceros that wasn't in our tribe, as he just wanted the teleporter engram. And on small tribes, you are allowed to team up for PvE stuff, such as boss fights. But the thing is, with the turrets set up right by the drop, we had to make sure we were in the way of them, so that he didn't die to them because he wasn't in our tribe. But we figured it out eventually, and it was time to start the boss. We were all gonna have shotguns, five people on Stego, me on the ferry to clean up the diners that came to try and attack us, and the guy in the Megaloceros was going to stay under the dragon to make sure it didn't move, and we were pretty confident we could do it. Skylord strong, each. immune, and thingy, and it should Which? be five of each. Let me just double check really quick. Please turn that alarm off. It's killing my ears. Bro, calm down. Please shut up. I'm sorry, but please calm down. Like, you, like I will turn it down, but like, just, just calm down. <laughs> it's probably the um, same alarm that he uses. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying, bro. I activated PTSD. One, one gig of heart, one gig of heart, five of everything else. You got the gig of heart. Okay. All right, should we start it? Yeah, I'm starting beta. Okay. Let's go, baby. All right. This one drop. Oh I'm shit, on. I can't see shit. What the fuck? Yeah, load you into the boss fight really fast now. Alright, so we don't shoot right, we let Chris Don't shoot, yeah, yeah, let, yeah. let Chris crit. We let it, Chris we let it get to me over here, it'll walk towards me in, yeah. into this area. No, we need to make sure we don't get hit by the by the meteors, boys. This arena looks fucking sick. Fireball. Fireball. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, come right, shoot, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. It's that simple, boys. I'm really curious what TP this gives. It's a medium, I think. I think I think it's like the gamma is small, beta medium. I want to say gamma because it's TP. For TP, yeah, it's it's exactly how you think it is. Yeah, small, medium, large, gamma, beta, alpha. You just hitting that thing with your horns. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, it does a decent amount of damage from the video that I was watching, at least. Well, right, watch, out, fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball. watch out, he might fireball again. He just spawned, he just spawned shit. Oh, shit. All right, this is where the Terry's about to come into play. Cluster up a little bit. Terry's going to smack these up. I'm just going to run them to you guys. <laughs> oh, fireball, fireball. fireball. Watch out, Chris, don't get hit by that. We need to make sure Chris does not get hit by that. I'm good, this thing's pretty fast. Yeah, I think he is. We might as well just fucking shoot him if he's doing this. Yeah. Look at him, he's just glitched. Yeah, I think he's glitched. Just shoot him. What the fuck is that up there? Is that someone's base, dude? Yeah, that was base is that, bro. Wait, what? Where's the... Where's the base? What? Yo, is that hard underwater? He's landed, boys. Oh, shit, he's on the ground, he's on the ground, he's on the ground. Ow. But I mean, it's fine, because I'm on the thing. I think he's got it, he's got it. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Just pepper this bitch. Give him the old lemon peppers. Oh, oh, I see that, yeah. Oh, bro, you can probably just do this on foot with one Megaloceros. I don't think I'd uh, recommend that. The, the only thing is the Dimorphs. Shit, I don't know if like, those might cause an issue. Oh, I think that's why people bring like carbos or some dumb shit to that macro. Let him come over here, let him come over here. 
If I hear that alarm one more fucking time. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. I do not care, but. <laughs> Some of these PTs are just catching strays walking in front of me, bro. How low is it? I'm just sat in photo mode. It's like it's uh, very 5%. Long. Okay, he's kind of messing me up a little bit. I might want to back up there. Yeah, see, it feels You bad. thought shit was sweet. Dang. Look at all that. All right, where's the where's the thing? That's it fine, is. got it. Guys, bullying me. Shouldn't I steal the Ellie? Should I hit him on the- should I attack on the Therry and see how much damage it does? No, you'll no, fucking wreck me! Kind of dumbass question is that? You know he's dying to Therry as soon as we get out of here, right? Medium teleporter, rifle... Wait, Daddy? Force field as well. We got Daddy unlocked. Oh, we did get Daddy unlocked. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that's- that's- I huge. thought that was Alpha. What? That's what I just right, Chris, said. Was nice we got knowing fucking you. Daddy, bro. I should've placed a sleeping bag down. Oh, I'm like full white screen stuff. It's fine. Yeah, same. It does. Same. It should do it. Wait, wait, yeah. Chris. Do not move. You're not dying yet. No one move shit. I'm chill. I'm chill right now. We need to find where Chris is. My game crashed. Can someone please drag my body? I'm not logging back and I'm going to fuck to bed. You're good, you're good, you're good. So yeah, after getting Dragon under our belts, we now had everything we needed to start moving out of the tree base, apart from one thing, Black Pearls, which on the islands are actually really hard to find because there's not many natural spawns, if any, and the only things that drop them are the little sea scorpions and also Alpha Tusos and Alpha Moses. And the Alpha creatures drop 100 when you kill them, and the issue is they're fucking tanks. But we had an ace up our sleeve. The Megalodon that I tamed to go get Blasty Blobber actually died, but Crunchy had tamed a better one, and so I went went down to try and find it, so I could go and kill some alpha creatures for the black pearls we needed to make our tech gear. Because tamed megalodons do bleed damage, which does 5% of the total HP, and 20 times 5 is 100%, so I would only need to bite an alpha creature 20 times to kill it. And so, I headed out in pursuit of some. Let me let me track the megalodon for you, so I can get you like the perfect. It's literally just, just see something towards the obelisk, it's exactly that. You're free! Yeet. Yeah, Caesar, I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's crazy. Well, hold up. Where is this megalodon hidden? The fuck? You yeah. got a taming right. tracker, bro. If you can't figure that one out, I don't know what it tells you. Is it under a cave or some shit? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? If you can't even find it with the taming tracker, that means a good hidden spot. Is this a pearl cave? <laughs> Man, sorry, I left it in a random spot. <laughs> where is it, though? I don't even know. Bro, where? Oh, it's under here. Ah. I found a whole crack and I just put it in there, dude. Oh, damn. So the normal moses drop black poles or is it just alphas? Um, I think all of them do, but it might uh, just be normal no, tusos that drop just, them. It's, it's uh, normal, normal and alpha tusos and... Wait, you're killing tusos or meg or... Anything I can find. Oh, alpha moses, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna kill a tuso with that megalodon. Don't do that. That's Bro, it's 20 bites. I mean, I guess you can. Good That's perfect. a good megalodon. Hello, life Lurodon. Whoa. Hello, alpha mosasaur. How rare are alphas in general? It's like, do you generally just find one whenever, whenever you try and, like... Oh, fuck. Eels. They share the spawns with the same team as, uh, it's kind of part, like, like, it shares the same spawn as a Moza. I might be fucked here. I'm stuck. <laughs> Can you do, like, the whistle out thing or not? Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, no, you're chilling. You're chilling. You're chilling. Yeah, you're chilling. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. That's crazy. What did you get stuck in? Eels and two Mosas. Ah, fucking e eels, man. Such a dumb thing. What the hell? Why is it chasing me up here? Whoa, whoa, it's whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it up here? The Moses stop, just stop, follow Zabby to the stop, shore, stop. dude. Yeah, they're 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 ruthless in here, bro. They they, they follow they don't go up past border now. I didn't know that. They don't leave as easy as the police used to. Okay, well they left finally, yeah. but that was scary. I've never seen them do that before. I thought I was dead there because I didn't. I thought it like they had a max depth limit. Yeah, they did on ASC. Like, it was a lot harder. I guess they allow them to go a little higher now. I thought I was cooked there. Jesus Christ. So yeah, that almost went very badly. But once my Megalodon was healed up a little bit more, I headed straight back in there. And, um, yeah. I guess I didn't learn my lesson. Okay, GG. <laughs> Good game. And so after that, your boy had to do the walk of shame back to base, and Caesar slingshotted me out to the ocean again to try and tame another megalodon, but I couldn't find a single high level one. And after searching for like an hour or so, I decided to pack it in, and use the fact that we had the swamp cave claim to our advantage. And I scheduled a trade with someone, for paste in exchange for black pearls. And while I was asleep, the boys did the trade, and we were able to make our tech structures, including the teleporters which we would need to fully move into Kano. And the next day, that's exactly what we set our sights on. 
Are we in Carno now? Grab an Anki, we're clean in Carno. Grab an Anki, alright, should I take over with the right here? No, no, we got a TP in the base. TP? <laughs> yeah, there's a small TP in the base. Also, also turn the, the tech gen range on and then fly outside and look how fucking big that shit is. Zavi, you sexy beast. We need your help. Uh, I want to go check out Carno first. Holy fuck, what is that tech gen? Is that max range? That, like there's kinda... no max range, it's just range. Oh. That's default range, baby. There's only one range. What the fuck? Oh, wait, small TP. Oh, small TP. Yeah, TP to Carno, cuzzo. Can you teleport dinos on the small TP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carno cave, let's go. We are fat. Yeah, you like that shit? And how much at least does the small TP cost? 10. <laughs> Broken question mark? It costs 15 black pearls though, so calm down. <laughs> It's gonna be nerfed soon to where like you can only TP like small dinos, so. How long does one Ellie last? Uh, 17 hours. Okay, GG. Kind of nuts. So what's the plan on building this then? We're just gonna have to level all this out. So basically just find a place where you see some stuff and just swing until you stop gaining resources. And we have a, uh, a Deddy for stone and a Deddy for flint. At least you don't see the rock I'm hitting right now. Yeah, they're warning, like but... a lot of them are embedded and a lot of them are really tiny. Where the heck might you go, dude? Uh, I think Zabby may possibly be on it. <laughs> oh, dude, this man's getting book ganged, dude. <laughs> 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 Fucking little. That's a clip right there. <laughs> the speed with which that saddle popped off was legendary. Hey, hey, be happy, dude. Don't be happy you didn't fall back down there like 10 minutes ago because Thor Zanky <laughs> did and that shit stayed down there. Yeah, it lives down there in infamy. GG, no re. <laughs> So what's the entrance look like for Kano? Is it? Oh, it's pretty similar actually. There's just a pillar in the middle here, which kind of fucks the wall. No, uh, it's a lot bigger inside. You could, can you teleport water dinos? I don't know if you can. No, you can teleport water dinos. No, you can't. Yes, you can. I, I don't, I don't know. I thought you could. I, I, I swear unless, to God, I'm unless they added it, you can't, dude. You definitely can't. That makes this uber uber broken then. Like uber uber broken. Like how was someone meant to fob this? Uh, carbo. I can carbo fuck the water part, but like that's all they can fit in is carbos. The PVP in this tunnel is gonna be so fun though. PVP in that tunnel is gonna be a lot more fun when we get some mantis. Yeah. No, okay. you know the meme about me with the flamethrower, bro. That's Zavi with the mantis, bro. <laughs> dude, 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 cause it's cause once you bring the mantis out, then everybody's like, all right, fuck you guys. Yeah, and then they just leave. I'm bringing the Anki in, boys. There's still rocks over here, dude. Yeah, we're role playing, dude. There's finally no more rocks here. Holy. Hey, boys. Better late than never. Max, what's up, cut? I'm coming. Ayo, hey, hey, lead, the, lead, the, lead the charge. Here, do we have. Did you bring ceilings so we can go across? No, but like, we can do tricks on it, bro. I got foundations. We're good, dude. Why am I only getting like five stone per hit? Like, what the fuck? It's, these are small rocks. dog shit rocks, yeah. We're all in fucking sync on my screen. Yo. Synchronized Ankies. <laughs> All three of us are in sync, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in sync. Bro, come help me, dude. No, we're in sync. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody comes by and somehow is able to scout us in here doing this. They're using like the illegal iron. I wish they could. I wish they could orbit cam through the fucking ground and see this. And dude, be like, what be the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm like, shut up, dude. I tried to. Be like, farm we're farming, together, bro. Dude. We're farming. This is our farming base. <laughs> Go, rampage. Lead by example. Damn. Oh, fuck you, you cheated. <laughs> 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 fuck it! I'm, I'm built different, fuck you. No way you made that. So yeah, if you can gather already, this took a bit of a while, even with four Ankies constantly going at it, because the amount of rocks that were in the sides of the walls and stuff was absolutely insane, and we would have to clear all these out, otherwise we couldn't build on the cliff edges, and this was going to be essential to get the right snap point to make our breeding area with floors and stuff, so yeah, it was a very grueling process, but it was just one that we'd have to go through, and it would 100% be worth it, and without cryos, I really don't think Carno Cave was going to be raidable in any sort of fashion, I guess it technically would be possible with an inhumane amount of carbos and turtles to just throw in, but I really don't think anyone had a good carbo line at this point, especially on official, and without cryos, it was going to be insanely hard to get them in. Plus, it wouldn't work at all if we were online. And on top of that, we didn't even have to worry about stuff getting tame sniped anymore, because that was happening daily at this point, and not having to constantly worry about logs was just an insane weight off our shoulders. But, in fairness, the tree base had done us well, and we hadn't really been close to getting wiped once, so I would highly recommend it, if you guys are ever playing a wipe of your own. And I think I'll show you guys some cinematic shots of the tree base before we left left it.
and then the next episode. You guys will get to see how we fully built up the Kano Cave, made it our breeder base, and also did some tomfoolery to our main enemies. If you guys are looking forward to that, please feel free to leave a like on this video because it would really help me out. Thank you guys very much for watching, and with all that said, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.